Welcome to my video on the building of my shabby trailer yacht. In this video, I build the hatch surround and start work on the foredeck in preparation for glassing. I also fit the Anchor Max windlass and I also build an instrument to tell me what the moisture content is in the polonia because it really does change during the day. And there's a good time to glass it and there's really not a good time to glass it. Hope you enjoy the video. Now I know where this trapezoid cule hatch is going to be. I can mount the windlass, which will lift the dagger board. That's its primary use. So it's got to be in a strong position, so as close to this bulkhead as possible. As you can see, I really am nudging this Anchor Max windlass as far aft as possible. Right up against that bulkhead. If you're interested, but have a look at my earlier video on how I converted this 12 volt Anchor Max windlass to 48 volts by buying a new motor and adapting it. I'll have to create a bit of a protrusion here on the bulkhead. <laughs> has arrived so instead of working on the work I need to do around the daggerboard casing and because I haven't got all the bits for that yet I'm going to work on mounting this hatch and to do that I'm going to make a frame that goes around underneath this flange that sinks through the deck finishes flush underneath with a bit of radius in those corners and I'm also going to make sure the hatch will open without lines interfering. So the It's a really humid day, um, it's been raining, so I expected this, but I can't fit this surround, hatch surround, with this so out of whack, so I'm going to have to put screws back in on this side and this side. Some of that will be because the timber's wanting to straighten a bit because I've cut the hole out, it's not under so much tension now, but anyway. Time to re-drill some holes. The big question, do I sink it down further? At the moment, at this point, it's flush with the bottom of the deck underneath. So I could sink it down another um, probably 12 millimeters. So this radius when I put it on here meets the deck. I'm going to have some lunch and have a think about it. Good morning. Just let me turn this off. What I'm doing here is trying to dehumidify the deck a little bit because yesterday was a very humid day. There was some rain 
and it's not till late in the day till the deck usually shrinks down a little bit and sits on top of the temporary frame snugly, especially when you take the screws out of course, which I've just done. But to stiffen up the deck in this area, I want to start with a little bit of glassing around this hatch to so I can tick something off as completed before I move back onto other areas of the cabin. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. I think it's already moved down a little bit. It, it feels like it. Mostly for fun, I'm going to make something which will help me with this project. I probably should have made it a lot earlier on. Have any of you guessed yet what I'm making? Well done if you have. Okay, better still we can even test it. First of all, I'll put a mark to calibrate it, starting point. Now I'm going to test it. It's my very rudimentary humidity tester. It may work, it may not. But uh, I'd love to know what's going on during the day. As you've seen in past videos, I've shown you quite a bit of evidence of how much this timber moves with humidity and sometimes it's a real pain anyway so far no move this video may not even make it to the to youtube let's see it's already moved three mil up there I'm going to do a another little test now, that'll be interesting. But here's my little um, moisture content tester in the here, which I'll use to test it with. 9.5% maybe. Oh my goodness, it's still moving. So the moisture's radiating out. It'll be interesting to test the moisture on the boat between where I've been drying it and undried. That's really interesting. Where I've been drying the timber, I couldn't even get a reading. It sort of popped up briefly at 5% and then it wouldn't read again. So it really shows that the um, timber dries out pretty rapidly. I've put some Carbon Uni on the foredeck here. And um, it's a similar process I'll have to probably do for a lot of the cabin. The top because um, I'm not using deck beams, so I'm going to have to try and stiffen it up as much as possible with some taping. And that went well, but it's such a humid day, it was just raining. I'm hoping that before the resin goes off, it doesn't get too so humid that it lifts off the temporary frames again. I know it sounds quite a bit of a palaver, but so I'm giving it a bit of hot air while the resin cures so that um, it all sets in the right place. It's the next morning and my humidity tester is pretty much back to where it was when I first set it up, which is of no surprise. It's quite a humid day. It's pretty overcast. Not much sun. And my decision to do this for strengthening the deck looks like it's going well. Um, I'll take the supports out underneath the temporary deck beams and um, it's not going to be stiff yet because I haven't got the bands underneath the deck and I'm not sure if I'll do them in carbon fibre or fibreglass uni. You can see after the carbon fibre uni has been put on the deck above this temporary deck beam here, there's no gap. So that's really good, it's stabilised the deck, as you'd expect. And the next one, which is unstabilised of course, there's quite a significant gap there. It's like 3 millimetres, one eighth of an inch. So if I'm going to do that with the same method, I'll have to cover the deck, 
dehumidifier with some heat in there. Put the uni over the top and um, then I can remove the deck frames and do underneath. It's midday, it feels quite humid still. I've just been mowing the lawns. And you can see that it's certainly drying out. It's amazing, there's a wasp here getting a caterpillar. And I've just removed by hand, I don't know, another 50. But it's a bit heavy. It's a bit heavy for the wasp. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. The next video, I hope to finish off all the fitting of the deck hardware before I do all the glassing. Cloaked in folds of midnight waters, side by side, we sound and daughters.